Yo, T. Barkin, and welcome to Chaps TV. How's it going? What's going on, man? Glad to be here, bro. Already, man. So you're from Crowley, correct? Definitely. Born and raised? Yes, sir. To the fullest, man. Crow Town, baby. So tell me what, what so tell me what was it like for you growing up in Crowley? Man, you know what? We had so much fun as kids in Crowley, man. It's nothing compared to how it was. I mean, you know, how it is now is nothing right. compared to how it was when we was kids. We actually had fun. Uh-huh. You know, it's probably is on a whole nother level now, you know. It's a new generation taking over in the streets, you know. There's no loyalty, no unity, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody all for self. When I was coming up, we played with each other. Mm -hmm. We had fun, you know what I'm saying? And we we might fight amongst each other, but right. the next day we cool. Or the next month we cool. Eventually it's going to die down, mm -hmm. you know. Boys is beefing nowadays, right. man, out there in crowd, you know. But for the most part, man, it's home, man. I, I get much love. I get much respect when I come through that. You know, um, I know everybody. Everybody know me, you know. Uh -huh. I <laughs> Somebody told me I'm a neighborhood superstar one time, but I don't feel that, man, you know. I just I, I just know the love and the respect that I have out there, right. you know. So, yeah. So why do you think a lot of people are now beefing or, like, for self these days? Because I, I, uh, I, I often hear stories saying, like, you know, like, Back then, people were more open, or people were more trustworthy. Which you think has caused for such a turnaround in the community? Um, for one, these little young cats, man, they don't really have no guidance, you know. Um, two, I, I think the music, you know, played mm -hmm. a, a big role in this. You know, they, the music is so influential now, man. You know, that these dudes, they listen to it and they, they want to do it, you know? Right. Like, when we listen to Pop, like, oh, Pop talking some real gangster, gangster mm -hmm. ass. You know what I'm saying? I can cuss my bad. Are you good? <laughs> you know, but we didn't want to go out and do that, though. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You know, now these dudes talking about murder, and these cats really want to go do it, you know? Um, another thing... But the generation now, man, a lot of these dudes talk about these 90 babies, man. But let me tell you something. One thing about the 80 babies that I know, and I'm going to say this, and I don't care who get mad about it. A lot of y'all dudes made these kids, bro, and didn't want to have nothing to do with these kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've seen this for myself in my lifetime. A lot of dudes that I know make kids, man, and they're not in these kids' life. So now these kids don't have guidance. Mm -hmm. So that plays a big role in it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that, I mean, that's just from what I've seen. And I don't care who get mad, but it's the truth. Though. Right. A lot of dudes from the 80s, man, made kids, and they're not in these kids' life. Right. So, so, you, so, so you think, or I should say, so you're saying is that a lot of kids are running around fatherless and were raised by their mothers yeah. and that's the reason why they are acting out in such emotional yeah, ways definitely I, I, I say that's a, a, a good part of it mm -hmm. for sure um, you know the moms they do all they can man you know but it's nothing like having that father figure right you know when you got a male figure that can sit there and tell you and can drill it in you you know and you know and put some emphasis behind that. You know, when he tell you something, put a little fear in your heart. Mm -hmm. You'll understand a little bit more than what mama telling you. Mama break it down to you in a sweet way. She might not be like, you know what? You need to go sit your ass down. You know, she might say it. What's that? But the child won't feel it like whenever a father tell him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Gotcha. So what inspired you to do music? Man, my daddy... I always played music, bro, when I was a kid. He played the blues, man. We listened to uh, John Lee Hooker, Muddy mm -hmm. Waters, Lightning Hawkins, you know. So I, I always been deeply rooted into music. Mm -hmm. That's all my daddy do is listen to music, you know. So coming up from that, if you listen to the blues, mm -hmm. the blues is what the rap game, the blues back then is what the rap game is now. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to talk about the struggle on their track, but the blues, they talked about the struggle, but mm -hmm. it was a, just in a different way and a different style you know mm -hmm. so uh man just listening to the blues of my daddy man just listening to bobby wall mag eyes of the brothers you know um so you know i always love music man and then uh, one of my homies uh from my town man we used to rap on sega games you understand me like we used to 
like uh, one of the Sega instrumentals will come on whenever we playing the game. Sonic, I mean, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. One of the Sonic instrumentals will come on as we playing the game, right. and we will rap to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and people be like, "Are you serious?" And I tell people that started like, "You serious?" I'm like, oh, "That's how we started rapping." Mm -hmm. You know, um, Warren G, my, the very first song that I fell in love with, as far as hip hop, Regulator. Okay. And Warren G really, really took it forward for me to really want to be a rapper because mm -hmm. I love Warren G that much, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, you know, I started. My people was mainly listening to like a lot of West Coast, you know. And then, um, you know, we were listening to UGK, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, we listened to a little bit of East Coast. I would mainly catch more East Coast like on BET and stuff, right. you know. But as far as in the streets, it was mainly like Pac, Snoop, Dre, um, you know, UGK, Scarface, you know. So listening to them, man, and, and that made me want to rap even more, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go back a little bit. You say blues and hip-hop are basically the same thing. You think, you think hip-hop is going to turn into another genre soon? If hip hop gonna turn into another yeah. song, <laughs> the way it's been sounding lately, yeah, I believe it will. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, it, it's on a whole nother level now to where dudes are not even spitting lyrics no more. You know, they mainly harmonizing mm -hmm. uh, more eye tune. I mean, not eye tunes, uh, auto tunes on the track. Um, it, it, it just doesn't. It don't consist of lyrics. Of, right. How it sounded at first, you know, so that's why, I, that's why I think it, it'll have its own genre mm -hmm. before you know it. Right. Mumble rap might have its own genre. Right. 